Hi guys. Hello everyone. Okay. So today we're going to go over two new phrasal verbs. So um, this whole week we're going over phrasal verbs that have to do with the word talk. So all the phrasal verbs that we are learning contain the word talk. Okay. So there's actually quite a few phrasal verbs that use talk. Oh, hello. Thank you for joining. Hola. <laughs> hello, hello. So we're going to go over phrasal verbs today. Last time um, we looked over some other phrasal verbs, so we're continuing from the last lesson. Good morning. Hello. Hello from Indonesia. Hi. Hello. Okay, so we can just jump right into the lesson since there's already some people here. Hello, Rodo. Hello. Okay, so today's phrasal verbs. We are gonna learn da, 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 these two. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Sana. Okay, so we have two new phrasal verbs. Are you ready? Let's start. Okay. So the first one is to talk down to someone, to talk down to someone. Hmm. So if you remember, we did um, another idiom a few, like a week ago or so. Um, we did an idiom that was um, like, turn up your nose to something. Hmm. So that means kind of rejecting something. It's not good enough for me to turn up your nose. So um, this one, to talk down to someone, is kind of very similar. So you, if, if someone, so if I talk down to someone, it means that I think I am better than the other person. I am smarter, I am better. So I'm kind of up here and talking down to someone talking down. You're not good enough. You're not as smart as I am. You're not as important as I am. So to talk down to someone. So usually it's somebody um, who has like some power. So maybe your boss or your teacher or your parents, they talk down to you. Okay. So it's, um, it's a negative thing if someone talks down to you. Okay. Hello, hello from Bangladesh. Hello, hello, welcome. So to talk down to someone means that you are, um, somebody is above somebody else, okay? Oh, you need to learn English language. Yes, so just Joseph, Joseph, you're in the right place. Okay, I will teach you. Okay, so. If this one is okay, let's go down to this one. To talk over someone. What does that mean, to talk over someone? So this is to talk down. This is to talk over. Hmm. Hmm. What does that mean? So to talk over someone means that you are talking even though another person is talking. So two people talking at the same time are people talking over each other, okay? So someone is, someone is talking, but if I interrupt them, or if I just keep talking maybe louder, I'm trying to talk over them, to talk over them. So to talk while someone else is talking. Ooh, now in the US, it is probably evening time. Uh, I'm in Japan right now though, so it's kind of, sunny. <laughs> okay, so to talk down to someone is to talk to someone like they're uh, less important or less intelligent than you. To talk over someone means that even though someone is talking, you continue talking maybe louder or you don't stop talking. You're trying to talk over them. Okay, so let's see. Let's try the exercises. These are always fun with you guys. You guys always participate so much. So it's really nice to do lessons like this. Okay, very good. So 
da, 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 da. Um, if you need to take, if you need to pause it, if you're watching this at a later date, or um, if you need to take a screenshot or something, you can have the the whole thing up here. Okay, so uh, to talk down to someone means to talk to someone as if they are less intelligent than you or as if they are less important than you, okay? To talk over someone, continue to talk even while the other person is talking. So, um, for example, talking over your teacher. If your teacher is telling you something, but you're talking over her, you're talking to your friends, that is not a good thing, right? Okay, oh, very good. So uh, we'll try number one. I see some answers already. You guys are so fast. Okay, so number one, hey, stop me. I'm trying to tell you something. Hey, stop me. I'm trying to tell you something. What do you think number one is? Oh. I see some correct answers already. Very good. Kahil, Kahild, oh, it's hard to say. Uh, Hafez, very good. Okay. Hello from the UAE, hello. Okay, so yes, the correct answer to number one is, hey, stop talking, uh, talking over me. Stop talking over me, I'm trying to tell you something. Very good, stop talking over me. So if someone is talking over you, oh, I forgot this marker is dead, hold on. It died yesterday. So if someone is talking over you, they are still talking while you're talking. So they're not listening to what you're saying. Hey, stop talking over me. Okay, very, very good. Oh, hello from Myanmar. Good job. Hey, stop talking over me. I'm trying to tell you something. So please be quiet and listen. Stop talking over me. Okay, let's try number two. My boss always, hmm, me. Like I'm a child. My boss always, mm hmm, me. Like I'm a child. So, Maybe big hint is boss, that is kind of position of power, and child is usually like lower position. So this one, what do you think the answer is? Oh, very good, Hafez. Oh, Juju, hello from Myanmar, hello. Okay, very good. So the correct answer is my boss always talks down to me. So we have to change the verb a little bit, like here talking. My boss always talks, talks down to me. I always never leave myself enough space. <laughs> oh, very good. Everybody has the correct answer, nice. So my boss always talks down to me like I'm a child. So your boss is saying, um, maybe you're not as smart as me, you're not as important as me, so they're talking down to you. It's a very bad feeling, isn't it? Okay, how about number three? Can you each other? It's hard to hear each of your opinions. Oh, I think I forgot a word here. Can you stop? Here, I'll write it here. Can you stop? I did forget a word. Oh, silly me. Can you stop each other? It's hard to hear each of your opinions. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. That is very good. You, you even got it without my, my missing word. Very good. Hello. Hello from pa Pakistan. Hello. Okay. So can you stop talking over each other? So people, like two people talking at the same time. Can you stop talking over each other? Can you stop talking over each other? Can you stop talking over each other? It's hard to hear each of your opinions. Very good. And we'll do number four. The man was so arrogant and often others. The man was so arrogant 
and often others. So if you don't know the word arrogant, arrogant means that um, you think you are above other people. You think you are better than other people. Oh, he's so arrogant. Okay. Oh, hello from Bangladesh. Hello. Oh, very good. Hafez is very quick today. Awesome. Yes. So the correct answer for number four, I'll give you one more minute. One more second. Okay, you guys are fast. So the man was so arrogant and often talked down to others. Okay, talked down to others. Okay, the man was so arrogant and often talked down to others. Or often, uh, maybe because we have the word was here, it should be in the past. The man was so arrogant and often talked down to others. Okay, so I'm gonna read these one more time. So just a quick refresher. Talk down to someone means to talk to someone as if they are less intelligent than you, as if they are um, less important than you. Oh, okay, so Herrera says, if I say stop to talk over me, is, is it wrong? So um, the, for it to be correct, to stop talking over me, stop talking over me. So uh, these are inseparable, so we wouldn't add a two here. So stop talking over me. So if someone's doing it at this very moment, you would say, stop talking over me, okay? Then uh, let's see, uh, to talk over someone, continue to talk even while the other person is talking. All right, then I'll just quickly read these one more time. Hey, stop talking over me. I'm trying to tell you something. Number two. My boss always talks down to me like I'm a child. Number three, can you stop talking over each other? It's hard to hear each of your opinions. Number four, the man was so arrogant and often talked down to others. Okay, is it understandable? Thank you guys so much for participating. It is always nice to see like familiar um, names in the comments. I really, really appreciate it. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna go over some more phrasal verbs. <clears throat> I swear, I think I have a cold. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go over um, some more phrasal verbs tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Today's Tuesday, right? Tomorrow's Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, we're gonna have two more um, new lessons with phrasal verbs. And then um, we're going to uh, have another review lesson on Friday. Arrogant, how to pronounce again, please. Okay, <clears throat> so arrogant, arrogant. So it looks like it should be pronounced arrogant, arrogant, but um, usually the last vowel in a word um, we change it to like almost a short I sound. I, I. Arrogant. See how my mouth doesn't really open? Arrogant. E, e opens. Arrogant. 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 Very good. Okay. So, um, of course, if you have questions, you can always leave it in the comments. I check the comments quite often. I'll try to get back to you if you have a question. Um, you can leave a question anytime. And uh, I will see you in tomorrow's lesson, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Oh, let me move my mic a little bit closer. Okay, I hope you can hear me all right. So I'm so sorry about the time. I'm usually 
Um, I usually start my, my live lessons a little bit earlier than this, but thank you for being here. Thank you for sticking with me. And today we're going to learn two new phrasal verbs. This week is all about phrasal verbs, okay? Hello. Hello. Is your name pronounced Asa? Hello. So um, I'm so sorry for being late, like I said. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys for um, joining the lesson, even though it's at like a different time than usual. Oh, good morning. Ooh, are you from Russia? Oh, hello, Aya. Hi from Russia. Hello. Okay, very nice. So we have two new phrasal verbs today. Oh, I'm doing well. Thank you, Raz. How are you? It is finally a nice sunny day. We've had a lot of rain recently. Oh, Anna, hello. How are you today? Thank you for joining. So I know it's a little bit of a different time than usual, but thank you. Thank you guys for, for joining the lesson. All right, we're going to get into it. So this week we're talking about phrasal verbs with the word talk in them. Very good. Oh, is it raining in Chicago now? Oh, no. Hello from Myanmar. Okay, so today's phrasal verbs are talk it over and talk back. So both have talk, right? Oh, hello. Hello, Quarry. Hello, Smith. Very good. I'm doing good. Glad to see all the familiar names. Okay. So we're going to go over the first one. Talk it over. Talk it over. Hello, Joni. So uh, to talk it over means to discuss something thoroughly. So usually before you make a decision, you want to talk the decision over with um, your partner or uh, whoever you are deciding with, right? So talk something over, or we can just say talk it over. We can use it when um, both people know what you are talking about, okay? So if I said, um, I have to make a big decision. I, I have to either um, stay in Japan or move back to the US. So I will talk it over with my family. So it meaning moving to the US or staying in Japan. I will talk it over. I will discuss it with my family, okay? Then um, the next one, Talk back. Talk back is a negative thing. You don't want to talk back to someone. So to talk back to someone means that you reply, <clears throat> you reply very rudely or defiantly. So usually um, children, children sometimes talk back to their parents. So if their mom says, hey, I want you to clean up your room. The child might say, why don't you clean up your room? So that is a very naughty thing <laughs> that a child can do, right? So that means the child was talking back to their mother, okay? Oh, good morning. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm glad you like the teaching method. Thank you. I hope it's easy to follow. Hello from Bangladesh. Very good. So do you understand talk it over and talk back? Are these understandable? So if you have no questions, um, we'll go to the exercises. Seems okay? All right. Very nice. So ooh, this whiteboard is a little bit heavy. <laughs> okay. So again, if you want to see the meanings are here. So talk something over or talk it over. Oh, good job, Anna. Anna's got it. Very nice. Okay. To talk something over means discuss something thoroughly. 
Talk it over, talk about it and make a decision. Talk back means reply defiantly or rudely. So you don't want to talk back usually. Okay, so today we actually have five exercises. So I think they're pretty easy. Um, these these uh, phrasal verbs aren't that, those, that similar, right? So we should be able to get through them pretty quick, I think. Oh, very good. I'm glad it's clear. Okay. So number one, don't to your teacher. Don't to your teacher. So this is a pretty easy one, I think. So we have, this is a big hint. Don't do something. So usually it's a negative thing. And to your teacher, to, so to someone. Oh, very good. Anna is so quick. I think Anna and Kevin are usually pretty quick on these. Oh, very good, Hafez. Nice. Very good, Khan. Hello. Hello, too. Okay, very good. So don't talk. Oh, I think I need to put it down like this way. Don't talk back. Very good. So remember, we talk back to someone. Talk back to someone, okay? So don't talk back to your teacher. So when I was a child, my parents often reminded me, don't talk back to your teacher, okay? Oh, very good, Noi. Yes, don't talk over your teacher also. Um, I think yesterday we learned to talk over someone. So that means while someone is talking, you also start talking. So very good. So, so don't talk back to your teacher and don't talk over your teacher. Yes, very good. Oh, number two, Hafez is very quick. So number two, let's before deciding. So deciding, this is a big hint. Don't, uh, let's hmm, before deciding. Oh, very good, yes. Oh, hello, hello, welcome. Yes, 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 yes. Very good, Anna, very good. So talk it over. Let's talk it over before deciding, okay? Talk it over. Let's talk it over before deciding. So you'll notice in English that a lot of um, a lot of the times we use over. So for example, to think over something. So that would mean to think something thoroughly. So to talk over means to discuss something thoroughly. Okay? Yes. Very good. Okay, so number three, please with your parents first. Please with your parents first. Oh, very good. Raz, Hafez, too. Very good, very good. So please talk it over with your parents first. So before making a decision, Please talk it over with your parents first. Very good. Please talk it over with your parents first. Please discuss it with your parents first. Oh, very good, Anna. Oh, thank you, Murad. Oh, okay. And your Ibarhim, Hizam. Very good. Okay. So, number four. He got in trouble for to his mom. So here we have to someone, big hint. He got in trouble for to his mom. Oh, very good. Number four is talking back. Oh, very good, Anna. Very good, Hafez. And correct verb conjugation. He got in trouble for talking back, for talking back to his mom. So you shouldn't talk back to your parents. 
You shouldn't talk back to your teachers, right? We shouldn't talk back. He got in trouble for talking back to his mom. Ooh, you don't want to do that. Okay, and number five, we and decided to go. So again, decide is a big hint. And notice that it is past tense. We decided. So we and decided to go. Number five. Who can get number five first? Let's see. Oh, hello. Good afternoon. Oh, okay. I see uh, Hafez and Anna and Raz. Very good. Very good. Oh, hello from Gaza. Wow. Hello. So we talked, talked it over and decided to go. We talked it over and decided to go. So here, because we've already decided, <clears throat> that means we've already discussed it. We talked it over and decided to go. Oh, very good. I see a lot of correct answers. Very good, Aya, Gonzalo, and Khan. Very good. Okay, so um, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, we learned to talk over someone, to talk over someone. That means to talk while another person is talking. This is talk something over or talk it over. So you need something here. You need, you need to put what you're talking about. We talked, uh, we talked the decision over. We talked the moving, uh, the moving over. We talked it over. Okay. So to talk over someone is different than to talk something over. Okay. Please remember that. Oh, very good. Thank you. Oh, very good. Yes, the past tense. We need past tense down here. Okay, so I'm going to read them one more time, kind of at a natural speed. Okay, so try to follow along. You can, um, maybe it's really a good idea to practice repeating these things so that you can get used to the pronunciation and you can easily remember if you say it out loud. Okay, so number one, don't don't talk back to your teacher. Don't talk back to your teacher. Don't talk back. Don't talk back. Don't talk back to your teacher. Okay? Oh, thank you, Aya. Okay, number two. Let's talk it over before deciding. Let's talk it over before deciding. So here, notice that the it, the T in it becomes a flap T because it is... Uh, sandwiched in between two vowels, right? So let's talk it over. It, it, it over, it over, it over. Let's talk it over. Let's talk it over. Let's talk it over before deciding. Okay? Let's talk it over before deciding. Number three, please talk it over with your parents first. Please talk it over with your parents first. Talk it over, talk it over. Okay? Number four, he got in trouble for talking back to his mom. He got in trouble for talking back to his mom. All right. And number five, we talked it over and decided to go. We talked it over and decided to go. Okay. Can you catch the pronunciation? Is it understandable? All right. Thank you guys so much. Um, let's see. Tomorrow I will have another lesson maybe a little bit earlier than today's lesson, I think. So if you are available, we'll have one more lesson tomorrow. I will do my best. And then um, on Friday, we're gonna have another review lesson. So please review these lessons and come for the review lesson. Oh, thank you very much, Anna. I always love having you in the lesson. You're a very good participant. Okay. Thank you. So um, I'm going to uh, leave this lesson on the Facebook page and so that you can see it anytime. Okay.
Oh, Khan is asking the pronunciation of anxious, anxious, anxious. It has an X, right? So it looks pretty difficult to pronounce. Anxious, anxious. Okay. Oh, thank you, Aya. Okay. Thank you, everyone. So I will see you in tomorrow's lesson. Please catch up on uh, this week's lessons if you've missed them. And we're going to review everything on Friday. So I can't wait for then. Okay, so see you later. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. <clears throat> okay, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. We are having a live lesson a little bit earlier than last time. So I kind of have a busy schedule today, so it's going to be a little bit of a quick lesson. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, we're going to go over the last two new phrasal verbs of this week. Okay, so this week we're talking about um, phrasal verbs that contain the word talk. Okay, so we are going to... Uh, do the last two phrasal verbs for this week, and then tomorrow we're going to have a review lesson. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello, MD Rabul. Hello, Uzel. Hello, Thayer. Hello, Hamdula. I'm sorry. I think I'm mispronouncing everybody's names. Hello, Shanwaj. Hello, Prince. Hello, Prince Yosef. Okay. Familiar, familiar names today. Hello, hello. Sorry if I mispronounce your name. Rafiq, Juju, K Kimar, Viola, Sadar. Hello, hello. So what time is it today? It is 1134 in the morning. I am from America. I'm from the US. However, I am uh, in Japan right now. Oh, hello, Anna. Okay. Hello, Kevin. So I have a little bit of a time crunch today. So time crunch means I, I have a busy schedule. So I'm going to do a little bit of a quick lesson. So I hope you can follow. So uh, the last two phrasal verbs that we're going to do this week are talk at and talk up. Okay, talk at and talk up. And remember, we're going to have um, a review lesson tomorrow. So please join for tomorrow's lesson. We're going to review everything we learned this week. Okay? All right. So we're going to look at talk at first. Now, if you know, usually we say talk to someone. So if you say talk at someone, it kind of sounds like bad grammar, right? Talk at someone. But actually, we use this phrasal verb when we mean that someone is someone is talking to us, but it's like they're talking at us. So talking to someone is usually a two-way conversation. Talking at someone is a one-way conversation, okay? So um, if someone is talking at you, they're not asking you any questions. They are not letting you talk and they are not uh, listening to you. They're not talking to you. They're talking at you, at you. So uh, this is a rude way to talk to someone. This is very rude. Ugh, he was talking at me the whole time. He wouldn't let me talk. He was talking at me. And a lot of the times when we use talk at, we emphasize this part because it's kind of surprising. Oh, he was talking at me the whole time. He was talking at me. So when you use this, I would emphasize the at, okay? This is a rude way that someone was talking to you. And talk up. So earlier this week, we learned talk down to someone. Talk down to someone. So to talk down is... I'm better than the other person. I'm talking down to them. They're not as good as me. They're not as important as me. But talk up is very much the opposite. 
Um, not exactly the opposite, but talk up is when you talk positively about someone or something, okay, to convince other people or to persuade other people. So uh, if, if I wanted to buy a new car and I went to the car salesman, the car salesman might talk up the most expensive car. He would talk up the most expensive car. That means he would say positive things, trying to convince me, trying to persuade me to buy it. He would talk it up. So this um, phrasal verb is separable. So we can say talk someone up or talk up someone. Okay. Yes. Like speak with enthusiasm. Yes, Anna. Very good. So um, to speak with enthusiasm, but the purpose is to convince something or convince someone to do something. So um, let's see what else could be a good example. Oh, if, um, if I have a friend and I have uh, another friend who is a guy. So I have a friend who's a girl and a friend who's a guy. I want my guy friend to date my other friend. So I could talk about my other friend in a positive way. You know, she's really pretty, she's really smart, she thinks you're handsome. So I'm trying to convince him, oh yeah, maybe, maybe I will date her. Okay, so convincing someone by saying something positive. Oh, very good. Okay, so talk at is a rude way to talk to someone. Talk up is very positive. Okay, so we're going to look at some examples. All right. Da, 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 my whiteboard. Okay, there you go. So we have the meanings up here. To talk at someone. To speak to someone without listening to that person or letting them speak. Okay, talking at someone. Very rude. To talk up someone or to talk up something means to speak in a positive way, a positive way about someone or something in order to persuade others. Okay, so let's look at number one. What do you think the answer to number one is? Yes, Kevin, very good. I will talk my friend up. Is that right? Yes, it, it is right. Very good. Okay, so number one, he, hmm, me, the whole time and never asked me how I was feeling. He, me, the whole time and never asked me how I was feeling. Oh, very good, Anna. Very good, Hafez. Very, very fast. Very good. So the correct answer is yes. Very good. Talk at. Talk at. Very good, Khan. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to write it down. He talked at me. So this conversation is already over. So we're going to use the past tense. Yes. He talked at me the whole time and never asked. So that's how we know it's, it's already finished. He never asked me how I was feeling. Okay, number two, you really, that movie, but I didn't like it. You really, that movie, but I didn't like it. Okay, so number two, so this is already in the past. I didn't like it. So we're looking for past tense here. Oh, very good, Anna. Very good. Very good, Hafez. Yes. Very good, Kevin, very good. So the answer to number two is, you really talked up that movie. You really talked that movie up. You could say it both ways. So we could say, you, you really talked up that movie or you really talked that movie up. So it's separable, so we can say it both ways. Yes, very good. So that means maybe my friend was saying, oh, the movie looks so good. It's gonna be amazing. It's really funny. So they they said positive things 
and convinced me to go and see the movie. But I didn't like it. Oh, very good. Oh, you guys are so fast. Okay, let's look at number three. Stop me and let me speak. So this person sounds a little bit angry, right? Stop me and let me speak. Oh, very good, very good. Talk at, good, good job, Khan, good job, Anna. Very good. Stop talking at me and let me speak. So this conversation is happening right now. Let me speak. So we would say, stop talking at me. Stop talking at me. And usually, like I said before, we usually emphasize or stress the at. Stop talking at me and let me speak. He talked at me the whole time. Oh, very good, everybody. Good job. Okay, ready for the last one. My friend, oh, we have a separable one. My friend, me, in hopes that his boss would hire me. Oh, very good, Anna. My friend, me, in hopes that his boss would hire me. So it looks like my friend is talking to their boss about me. I hope it's something positive, right? Yes, very good. Oh, very good, Anna. Very good, Khan. Very good, Kevin. Very good, Tet. Okay, awesome. My friend talked, talked me up. My friend talked me up in hopes that his boss would hire me. So he was saying positive things about me to his boss and trying to convince his boss to hire me. Very good. Okay, so I'm gonna go through these really, really quick. I'm gonna say them at a native speed. So please try to listen. And if you can, if you're not too embarrassed, you can repeat also after me, okay? He talked at me the whole time and never asked me how I was feeling. He talked at me the whole time and never asked me how I was feeling. Okay, number two, you really talked up that movie, but I didn't like it. You really talked up that movie, but I didn't like it. Number three, stop talking at me and let me speak. Stop talking at me and let me speak. Okay, and the last one, let's give it a listen. My friend talked me up in hopes that his boss would hire me. My friend talked me up in hopes that his boss would hire me. Okay, I hope you followed along and I hope you are ready for tomorrow's review lesson. Okay, probably around the same time as this lesson was today. Okay, very good. I'll show you one more time the, the whole board. Sorry for my handwriting. Okay. Very good. So thank you. I know uh, it was a little bit rushed. I, I'm, um, I'm having a, a crunch, crunch for time. Oh, and it's perfect. Okay. So thank you so much for watching and for following this lesson. Um, I am really excited for tomorrow's lesson. And maybe this weekend, I might also do a live stream on uh, the YouTube channel. So this weekend, check out the YouTube channel and I might be live streaming. I'll post it on uh, Facebook too. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for joining. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, everybody who joined, everyone who participated. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. All right. We are back with another live lesson. So um, this time we're going to learn about phrasal verbs, phrasal verbs. So the last few lessons have all been about idioms, but now we're gonna focus on phrasal verbs. So for this week and um, so the next four lessons are going to be about phrasal verbs containing the word talk. Oh, hello, Kevin. Hello, how do you say your name? Hisio, Hisumiat, Hisumiat? Hi, how are you? Thanks for joining. Okay, 
So today, hello, Daniel, we've got two phrasal verbs that we're going to study today, and they both contain the word talk. Oh, I'm very good. Hello from Peru. Nice to have you here. I'm good today. It's been really rainy in Japan. It's kind of typhoon weather. Hello. So um, as I was saying, this time we're going to focus on phrasal verbs, and we're going to look at phrasal verbs that contain the word talk. Okay. Oh, hello from Iraq. Nice to have you. Joseph. Hello. Hello, Linal. Okay. So we're going to look at our phrasal verbs for today. So we have two, okay? And they are very similar, but they're opposites, okay? So remember that. Okay, good morning. So can you see this? I used blue ink, maybe not the brightest, but okay. So our first one is talk into, talk into. So to talk someone into doing something, so both of these um, phrasal verbs, by the way, uh, can be separable. So phrasal verbs can sometimes only, um, they can only be together, but these phrasal verbs, you can stick um, uh, someone in the middle here. So you can separate these words. So talk someone into doing something. Talk someone into doing something. Hello from Mexico. Oh, Somalia? Somalia. Uh, I don't know which one. Very nice. Thanks for joining. So to talk someone into doing something means that um, you are using your words to convince them to do something. Okay. Oh, am I from Japan? So I'm not from Japan. I'm from the U.S., but I'm living in Japan and I can't leave the country at the moment because of um, the current situation in the world. <laughs> okay. So um, to talk into, to talk someone into doing something means to convince them by using your words, using your words. So telling someone what is good about making a decision. So, um, for example, let's see, if uh, if I wanted to go uh, to a restaurant to eat dinner, but my friend wants to save money and not go to a restaurant, I could try to talk my friend into going to a restaurant. I could say, you know, if we go to a restaurant, we don't have to cook, we don't have to do the dishes. We can eat nice food. We can just chat and enjoy ourselves. Let's go to the restaurant. And if my friend says, okay, uh, I'll go to the restaurant. You talked me into it. You talked me into it. It means you convinced me. You convinced me. Oh, hello from Iraq, Afghanistan. Hello. Okay, so does that one make sense? Talk into, talk into doing something. Oh, hello from Madagascar. Hi. Hi, Tiana. Okay. Then talk out of is the opposite of talk into. So talk into, you're trying to convince someone to do something. Talk someone out of doing something means to convince them not to do something, not to do something. So uh, for example, Mm, what's a good example? Let's see. Like right now, maybe it's not a good idea to do a lot of traveling. So if my friend said, hey, I want to go on uh, a cruise and travel the world this fall, I would say, uh, maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe you should reconsider. Uh, I think you you should maybe go next year. I could talk my friend out of going on a cruise. So it's not a good idea. You shouldn't do it. Talk out of. Talk out of. Okay. So to convince someone not to do something and to convince someone to do something. 
Oh, are you teaching in Japan? Yes, I sometimes teach in Japan. Hello. Okay, so do you have these two phrasal verb meanings down? Should we go to the other whiteboard? So I'll just quickly review. I have the meanings here for those who for those of you who are just joining us. Okay. Ooh, we have lots of colors today. Okay, so I'll put it a little bit closer. I did write kind of small. So to talk someone into something, to get someone to do something by talking about the good reasons for doing it. It's a good idea, you should do it. Talk into something. To talk someone out of something means to stop someone from doing something by talking about the good reasons for not doing it. Convincing someone not to do something. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying the lesson. Thank you. Okay, so I have some, uh, let's see, exercises here that we can try. So number one, let's try this together. My parents, <laughs> buying the house because it was too expensive. So maybe I, I want to buy a house, but my parents said, uh, I think it's a little bit too expensive. Maybe you shouldn't buy it. You shouldn't buy it. Which one do you think is the correct answer? So this someone is going to be me. Very good, Kevin. Yes, talked me out of, talked me out of. Okay, I'm going to write it down. My parents talked me out of. And notice the pronunciation of out of. So if I say it slowly, my parents talked me out of buying. But if I say it like uh, in natural conversation, I might say, my parents talked me out of. My parents talked me out of buying the house. My parents talked me out of, out of, out of. It, the T becomes a flap T. It is between two vowels. So out of, out of. You'll hear a lot of Americans saying out of. Get me out of here. Okay. Oh, very good. Most of you got it correct. Nice. Okay, now let's try number two. My friend going to the party last night, it was a blast. So without this second sentence, um, it could be either. My friend talked me into going to the party, my friend talked me out of, out of going to the party. But since we have this second sentence, it was a blast. This is our big hint for the correct answer. So. When we say something was a blast, we mean it was really fun. It was a blast, okay? So my friend hmm, going to the party last night, it was a blast. Oh, very good. Yes, perfect, Kevin. So blast means to have fun. It was a blast, it was really fun. So the correct answer should be, my friend talked me into going to the party because I did go and it was fun, okay? My friend, ooh, my marker is already dying. Talked me into, okay? My friend talked me into going to the party last night. It was a blast and here, my friend talked me into going, into, into. But if we're going to say very quickly, we might skip over the T sound in into. So sometimes when we talk fast, it sounds like inu, inu. My friend talked me into going. My friend talked me into going. Inu, inu, inu. My friend talked me into going, okay? Oh, very good. So number three, Okay, number three, don't try to mm, it. I've already decided to do it. Don't try to it. I've already decided to do it. 
Oh, Kevin is very fast. Very good. Don't try to talk me out of it. Out of it. Can you see that my my pen is running out of ink? Don't try to talk me out of it. I've already decided to do it. Don't try to talk me out of it. I've already decided to do it. Okay. And the last one, number four. I think I can accepting our offer. I think I can accepting our offer. Which one do you think it is? I think I can. So maybe the someone here could be them or he or she, anybody really. Yes, that's correct. Don't try to talk me out of. Yes. Okay. So I think I can, mm, I can convince them to accept our offer. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So good. Very good, Kevin. We'll use you for the someone. I think I can talk you into. Okay. I think I can talk you into accepting our offer. Very good. Okay. So that was all of them. I'll put it one more time up on the screen so you can see it. Okay, and we will be studying these kind of phrasal verbs the next four lessons, okay? So please remember these two, and uh, we'll do a review lesson again. So please remember it, review this lesson anytime, okay? So I've got to go. I'm actually over my time. I have another lesson that I have to teach. Okay, so thank you guys so much for participating. I'll leave the lesson up for you guys to watch and I will see you guys next time, tomorrow, okay? Thank you guys so much. Sorry, it was rushed at the end. I just realized the time. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much and see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, welcome to our review lesson. So all week we studied phrasal verbs that contained the word talk. So now we are going to review all eight phrasal verbs that we learned. So I hope you're ready, I hope you studied, I hope you reviewed the last lesson. Oh, hello Anna, thank you for joining me. So we're just starting. So I'm sorry I'm a little bit late today. I was a little bit busy, but we're gonna start the review lesson. So we'll just jump into it. So we learned eight, we learned eight phrasal verbs this week with talk. Do you remember all of them? There was quite a lot. So we have talk into, talk out of, talk down to, talk over, talk it over talk back, talk at, and talk up. Okay. Oh, hello. Ooh, Armenia. Very nice. Afghanistan. Hello. Okay. So I'm glad you guys are all here. Hello, Chit. Is that how you pronounce your name? Okay. So um, we learned these eight phrasal verbs. So I'm just going to quickly review them and then we can go to your review test, kind of like a test. Hello, Omar. Hello, Yavi, Javi from Mexico. Oh, you sound like a native speaker. I am. I'm from America. Okay. So we're going to go over these. So the first one is talk into. So if you remember, talk into means that you... um use your words to convince someone to do something or that um, something is a good idea. So he talked me into going to the movie. He talked me into going to the movie, okay? So he convinced me to go by using his words. Oh, hello from El Salvador. Okay, talk out of is the opposite of talk into. Talk out of means that you use your words to convince someone or persuade someone 
not to do something or that something is a bad idea. So um, I talked him out of spending all of his money. <clears throat> I talked him out of spending all of his money. Spending all of his money would be a bad idea. So I talked him out of it. I convinced him not to do that. Oh, Botswana, hello. Okay. Then we have number three, talk down to. Talk down to. So if you remember in the previous lesson, talk down to means like, I think I am up here. I am better than other people. So I talk down hmm. like that. So if you talk down to someone, you think that you are above them and the other person is not as important or not as intelligent as you are, okay? So this is usually a negative thing to talk down to someone, okay? We don't wanna talk down to people. <clears throat> so I think my voice is a, a little bit strange today, so sorry about that. I think I'm getting a cold, okay? <clears throat> Let's fix it. Okay. Number four. Okay. Number four and number five are easy to mix up, aren't they? So number four is talk over. So talk over, I should put someone here. Talk over someone. Okay. To talk over someone. This means that somebody is talking but then you start talking over them. So uh, they're not done talking and you don't wait. So you start talking while they're talking. This is uh, pretty, pretty rude, but sometimes, um, so like if you do it to a teacher or your parents, um, it would be pretty rude, I think, to talk over your teacher. Yeah, I don't know, my voice is a little bit strange. I think I have a cold. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so uh, to talk over someone, like a teacher would be pretty rude, but sometimes um, when friends are talking and they get really excited, maybe they start talking over each other. They're talking at the same time. Okay, so it's kind of hard to hear um, when people are talking over each other, right? It's kind of hard to understand what people are saying. Then number five is very different. So not, let's see, can you see that? Okay, so number four is talk over someone. Number five is to talk it over. So you need this it somewhere. Talk it over. So that means to discuss something before making a decision, um, before uh, you know deciding on something, you wanna talk it over first, okay? Oh, hello. Yeah, I think I shouldn't drink. I had some cold uh, tea this morning. I should have had hot tea, I think. I need hot tea with lemon, maybe. Okay, are you understanding so far? Is it is it understandable? To talk it over, to talk over something means um, to discuss, to discuss it one more time, okay? Number six, this is also something that we shouldn't do, talk back. So talk back means to reply rudely, rudely to someone. So, you know, if your teacher says, um, please do your homework. And if you reply, hey, you do your own homework to your teacher, you talked back to your teacher. So usually when um, a teacher or a parent is giving some kind of instruction. Sometimes a child might be um, really angry and reply rudely, and then they would um, talk back to their teacher or their parent. That is not a good thing. Ah, uh, yes, ginger tea, lemon and honey. I will have it right after this lesson. Thank you. Okay, so number seven, so this is also a pretty rude one, to talk at someone, to talk at someone. Usually we talk to someone, that means having a conversation. But talk at someone means 
you are not listening to what they're saying. You don't let them talk. You just keep talking, talking, talking. So if you talk at someone, people might think it's a little bit rude or um, it's, it's not very friendly, right? Okay, uh, so um, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Ve, Vahe, Vahi <laughs> um, asked a very good question. What's the difference between talk over and talk back? So to talk over someone means that you're talking at the same time. And actually, um, you could put talk over something too. So like um, if I have the TV on and it's very noisy, I might try to yell over the TV so that you can hear me over the TV. That would be talking over the TV. But to talk over someone means that you are talking at the same time. Then to talk back to someone means to reply rudely. So if someone says, uh, if your parent says, hey, clean your room, and then you tell um, your parent, no way, I don't want to clean my room. Why don't you clean it? That would be talking back. So replying rudely. Oh, I'm glad you could catch the, the live lesson. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Um, and then uh, if we go to the last one, number eight, talk up, talk up. To talk someone up or to talk up something means that you are um, saying positive things in order to convince someone to do something. Okay. Okay. So to talk up. So for example, um, let's see if I said, Oh, my friend is really pretty and she's really smart. You should date her. That means I'm saying positive things about my friend because I want you to date her. So I'm trying to convince you by saying positive things, okay? So talking up someone is saying positive things about someone or something, okay? So uh, let's see, talk over and talk it over. Okay, I'll clarify one more time. Uh, talk over and talk it over. Talk over someone means um, talking at the same time. And talking something over means discussing something, okay? Trying to um, uh, talk about something with someone um, before making a decision. Talk something over, okay? So these are the eight that we studied, and I'm going to get into our exercises, okay? So I hope you're ready. So I'll put this over here. Okay, so we have eight phrasal verbs, so we have eight questions, okay? And I wrote all of the phrasal verbs at the top. I don't know if you can see them that well, okay? So let's try with, I'll sit like this, okay? So number one, number one, can you see? He, the proposal, so that his clients would agree. Okay, he, the proposal, so that his clients would agree. Which one do you think it is? So we have eight options up here. He, the proposal, so that his clients would agree. So. This, this sounds like he is talking positively about the proposal. So he's, he's saying good things about the proposal to convince someone to accept. Okay, so talk into. So, oh, okay, so we have two answers so far. Some people are saying talk into and some people are saying talk up. So talk into and talk up are very similar. So when we use talk into, we're going to talk into, we're going to talk someone into doing something. So if I had uh, over here, um, he, he said good things about the proposal to talk his clients into agreeing, that would be correct. 
talk them into doing. But over here, we have the proposal here. So the correct answer is he talked up the proposal. So he's saying positive things about the proposal in order to get the client to agree. Okay, I know it's a little bit confusing. So talked up is the correct answer. Talked up. Oops, I need another marker. Okay, talked up. Okay, so he talked up the proposal. We wouldn't say he talked into the proposal. So it's a little bit of a, uh, a grammar problem there. Okay, so uh, let's try number two. Okay, when you, each other, I can't hear what you're saying. It's very small handwriting, sorry. I'll put it a little bit closer. When you each other, I can't hear what you're saying. Oh, very good. Okay, I see Anna says talk over. Anybody else? Okay, so the correct answer is talk over. When you talk over each other, I can't hear what you're saying. Very good. When you talk over. Talk over, very nice. Oh, hello from Pakistan, hello. So when you talk over each other, I can't hear what you're saying. Very good. Okay, I see some people are going on to the next one. So let's see, number three. Thank you for, oh, this is a separable one. Thank you for me going. It was fun. So it was fun. So we know it was in the past. Oh, very good. Very good. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. We have the correct, we have the correct answer, but remember it is past tense. It was fun. Okay. Thank you for talking me into is the correct verb tense. Talking me into going. Yes. Thank you for talking me into going. It was fun. So here we would not say talk me into. Thank you for talking me into going. Very good. Oh, hello from Sudan. Very nice. Okay. Oop, we're halfway through number four. Okay. So all you do is people and never let them speak. All you do is people and never let them speak. So never let them speak is a big key here. Oh, very good, Hafez. Very good, Anna. Yes. All you do is talk at people. Very good. All you do is talk at people. I hope the lighting is okay. It keeps changing in here. So all you do is talk at people and never let them speak. Very good. Okay, so some people are going on to the next one. Number five. Oh, I see um, Cobra said talk down to for number four. Um, talk down to would be okay. Like all you do is talk down to people and never let them speak. But maybe this is a good key, never letting them speak. That's talking at, talking at. So when you talk at someone, you don't let them speak. Okay, number five. I thought it was a bad idea, so I, him, it. Hmm, what do you think? Oh, Hafez, very good. Okay, I thought it was a bad idea, so I, him, it. Oh, very good, Anna. Okay, good answers. So I talked him out of it. I talked him out of it. Oh no, my marker is dying. Uh-oh, I've run out of ink again. 
Hold on one moment. I think I have to change the color. We can't do red anymore. All right, we'll do, we'll do blue. Blue is a good one. Okay, I talked him out of it. Okay, that's cleaner, I think. I thought it was a bad idea, so I talked him out of it. Very good. Um, Yahe, Vahe, Vahe, Vahi uh, asked, what is the difference between talk at and talk up? So talk at means you are just talking at someone. You're not letting them talk. Talk up someone is saying positive things. Like she's so beautiful, she's so smart. Positive things, okay? Very good. So let's try number six, okay? Very good, number six. You're not my boss. Don't me. You're not my boss, don't me. So a boss maybe is above. So if a boss is talking to someone, maybe it's kind of this way, right? Boss is up here talking to me. So I'm saying, you're not my boss, don't. Oh, very good, very good, Anna. Very good, Hafez. Don't talk down to me. Don't talk down to me. You're not my boss. Don't talk down to me. Very good. Okay. Number seven. We have only two more. Awesome. So I'd like to with you before deciding. I'd like to with you before deciding. So this means... Um, you want to discuss something before making a decision. Oh, very good, Hafez. Very good, Anna. Awesome. So the correct answer is, I'd like to talk it over with you before deciding. Good job. Talk it over. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to do the last one, number eight. Children shouldn't to their parents. Children shouldn't to their parents. So there's only one that we haven't used so far. Okay. Oh, very good. Very good, Hafez. Very good, Anna again. Awesome. So the correct answer is children shouldn't talk back to their parents. Children shouldn't talk back to their parents. That is naughty. Very good. Um, the reason why it is not talk over means um, we would say children shouldn't talk over their parents with no two. But we have a two here. So children shouldn't talk back to their parents. So that's something you should watch out for. Very good. Awesome. So I saw one question. Um, what is the difference between talk down and talk over? So, so just to be clear, talking over someone means that you are talking at the same time. So, um, if person A is talking, 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 and suddenly person B talks over them, maybe in a louder voice, it's at the same time, two people are talking and then, um, talk Talk down to someone means that you are from a higher position. Maybe you are a parent or a teacher or a boss, and you are saying, um, you know, I am more important. You are not so important, right? Talking down to someone in a negative way. Okay, very good. So you got all the answers correct. So I'm going to put it up one more time so that you guys can see it. I hope you can see it okay. All right, good job. So thank you very much. That was the last lesson for this week. So um, I will be uh, I will be going live on the YouTube channel this weekend. Oh, thank you. I will have some tea. I've been sick for a, a little while, so I will have some tea right after this lesson, and hopefully, I will feel better. But um, yes, 
Oh, I've got another lesson from now. So I've got to go. But um, this weekend, I will be doing um, a live lesson on the YouTube channel. So I'll post it on Facebook channel as well. So please check that out if you can. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel also. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. You guys are such good participants. All right. I will see you this weekend for another lesson on the YouTube channel. Okay. Bye, guys.